they rumbled into the square early Sunday morning. But it was... All honor, praise, and glory be to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, Wahakadash Rakah, the Wadi Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, forgive me the Holy Spirit to be able to come back and do another lesson. Hopefully, something that can be edification, exhortation, admonishment, um, depending, defending the preaching of the gospel, correction, instruction. All right. Peace and blessings to the faithful elect, Salaki, double honors to the apostles and the elders at the great millstone of Israel. Peace and blessings to the faithful elect um, in its entirety. Um, those that have been slaved to be saved from the destruction that's been declared to come upon the earth, but primarily America, and um, to all the wicked inhabitants hereof, and those being slaved to be saved being none other than the Israelites who today are being called by words, um, so-called blacks, Af African Americans, Negroes, Native American Indians, West Indians, Seminole Indians, so-called black Hebrew Israelites, <clears throat> um, and African people scattered abroad, the men of these people simply teaching the true doctrine of the Bible, the way of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, and are living their life according to the same, and uh, in truth and sincerity, and the men, women, and children also of these people that have turned back to their true heritage, the true doctrine of the Bible, and are living their life according to the same. All right, so I want, so, um, pretty much doing this lesson, pretty much is going to be going into, uh, you know, just seeing the news and stuff going on and, you know, they done put out that, um, obviously now is more incentive, incentives to, uh, take the vaccination. Um, and the ultimate one at this point now is that. You can fly and travel and not have to get quarantined anymore. And, um, you know, you don't even have to take the test anymore. And that's going to be considered by obviously the masses and who they, to whom they are pushing it to. And when I say they, Esau, Edom, so-called white people, starting with the elites up through their media, um, who plays as a media man you know, a medium and pretty much uh, they use to whom they use to deliver the message. So lock it. And um, the main people that they are targeting are the so-called blacks, Latinos and Native American Indians. And they're going to be the main ones who adhere to this, these incentives. And not even considering that, one, they may not even be sick. They have no need of putting some, this, I mean, some fluid that you don't even know from where in their body. And uh, not considering that it has power to kill them, man. You see what I'm saying? Regardless if it's a certain outcome you receive from it, you don't know that thing could be, it, it has, it obviously has more power to just allow you to travel. It, it, it can have power to kill you, man. And the scriptures is, is, is against that. And, and obviously that somebody that can, that's coming from somebody that can cause you to, you know, die. So, that's somebody you really want to, you know, consider. And, 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 and the scriptures talk about that so-called white man is, you know, our enemy. He is it to be trusted. You know, before you get a friend, you you are, you you know, you are to prove him. You know, the scriptures say he that is, you know, uh, quick to give credit is like-minded, man. All right. And I'm, I'm going to grab that real quick. This is Cyrac. Cyrac, I believe, in the 
19th chapter, and I'm going to start at 4. He that is hasty to give credit is like-minded. And he that, see, so you're not supposed to be hasty to give credit. You see what I'm saying? You're supposed to, if you get a friend, somebody you're going to deal with, you are to prove that person first. You see what I'm saying? And he that sinned it shall offend against his own soul. Yeah, because the sin will be not following this, man. You will be going against it. And you're going to go against your old soul because it's actually to help you. So if you don't follow these instructions, you obviously are going to be hurt, man. You see what I'm saying? So let me go ahead and get this one. This is Sirach 6 and 7. If thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first. You see? And be not hasty to credit him. You see that? It says, for some is a friend for his own occasion and will not abide in the day of trouble. Yeah, because the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, they have an agenda. They want to exterminate our, our race. You see what I'm saying? And not only that, but get down the population to, you know, supposedly to the, according to the guy, Georgia Guidestones, 500,000. You see what I'm saying? Um, the scriptures kind of allude to that when they say none else, I am and none else going into America. You know, pretty much in their head, they only exist. So you can see that, you know, the, 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 the thought process probably having enough pride to even try to attempt something like that. But nonetheless, this, this information is out here. And um, these people have a new world order, man. That's not, that doesn't include you, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians in it as far as doing good, but being destroyed ultimately. You see what I'm saying? And whatever way they could get it done. And um and that's pretty much it, man. He 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 he's he so you you are to, you know, if you if thou gettest a friend, if thou wouldest get us a friend, prove him first and be not hasty to cre credit him. Yeah, see what they truly about, man. You see what I'm saying? What's up? You know, just because they, they sit here and tell you, oh, you're gonna be uh able to travel again and all that that's not you know that's not the way to go you know because somebody of the elect could hear this message and this could be the very lesson to bring you in because of the, the wisdom you know in it you know due to the heavenly father allowing it to be had and brought out but anyway proverbs 5 14 and uh i'm gonna start at uh 15 the simple believe it every word but the prudent man look at well to his going. So yeah, man, you want to be prudent. And when you're prudent, you show or act or you act you show or act with care about your future, man. You see what I'm saying? So you want to just up and just take something because somebody said something good you like, but not consider, wait, that could kill me. Wait, you can actually, you know, kill me with this. You know what I'm saying? Ultimately, wait, why should I trust you? You see what I'm saying? So, if you're moving like that, that's being prudent because you're considering your future, all right? But, like I said, the main people that's going to fold is going to be due, it's going to, it's going to be due to uh, the incentive, the incentives these uh, so-called white people, Esau, Edom, are offering, and uh, the main people that's going to be that it's going to be, it's going to be the so-called Blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians. And and because that's who really matters in this movie. And we know the scriptures say, give blind at the heart. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the lesson now. This is Sirach 9 and <clears throat> 13. Keep thee far from the man. You see, that has power to kill. Hold something that can actually kill you. So just off of that notion, you start to stay away from this man. You see what I'm saying? Because the scriptures tell us healing comes from the most high, man. You see what I'm saying? That's where it comes from. It's not, it, don't, it doesn't come from a, a Maxine, a damn, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't come from that. You know, healing comes from, from, from the most high, you know, from the instructions of this word, you know. That's, 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 that's where it comes from, man. Lord sent his word and it, and it, and it, and it has healed though, man. Why? Because there's instructions in it that tell you how to actually 
deal with your health, man. You see what I'm saying? But that's a whole nother thing. So just off of that notion, you are to stay away from this man, you know, and we have, you know, channels going into this. You can um, go watch the channel, uh, all manner of herbs, you know, which we go into the, 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 go into the scriptures from a health standpoint, you know, the, the, the wisdom for health, for having health that's, uh, you know, you could be, you could listen to that on a, on that channel, but nonetheless, keep thee far from the man that has power to kill. You see what I'm saying? And these people definitely have power because the earth has been given into their hands. And the people that have the earth in their hands are said to be the wicked. Let me grab that real quick. This is Job 9 and 24. I'm going to keep this simple. It says, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? See? And then when you go here to Micah 2 and 1, woe to them that devise iniquity which is wickedness, and work evil upon their beds, uh, which is bad times. You see what I'm saying? Eve meant to represent times and ill representing bad. You see what I'm saying? It's a bad time, you know, that they work. Okay, uh, or do I have chaos? Or do I have chaos? Is what that goes into. Upon their beds, when the morning is light, they practice it because it is in, it is in the power of their hand. You see what I'm saying? Only certain, only one one hand, set of hands is said to be able to have that power right now, and that's the wicked man. You see what I'm saying? That's who also has the power to kill, and that's said to be from a man. So Sirach nine and thirteen, keep thee far from the man that hath power to kill. Why? Because he's the wicked, and because it's in the power of his hands. Because he has the whole earth that's been given into him, given unto him, man. It says, Doubt not, so shalt thou not doubt the fear of death. You see what I'm saying? Like, you can't die. He can't kill you. That's his power. That's been given unto him. It goes into the horses, the one that has power to take, you know, the peace, peace from the earth. But that's a whole nother thing. Anyway, it says, in, but it's the same thing, really. It says, and if thou come unto him make no fault lest he take away thy life presently you see what i'm saying remember that thou goest in the midst of snares you see and that thou walkest upon the battlements of the city it's a devil on the earth and the lord is trying to reveal that but our people these 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 two-thirds are not going to get it man you see what i'm saying so for any any newcomer any new listener this is what the lord is trying to reveal man you know, because a year from now, they could have those vaccinations set to where everybody that took them dropped dead. You see what I'm saying? You just never know how this, how this, how this devil operates, man. All right? Sirach 4 and 20, observe the opportunity and beware of evil and be not ashamed when it concerned thy soul. You see what I'm saying? So that's what you're supposed to do. You got the, you got You have the opportunity of truly having health truly having a future, truly enduring until the end. So you are, you know, that's had when nothing is in your way. You know what I'm saying? You, you're not in the, the palm of the devil, per se, as much as you would be sitting once you're in his office taking a vaccine, and then afterwards, especially when it's in your body, when that fluid is in your body. You no longer can observe the opportunity. You see what I'm saying? In a certain sense, in the same sense as now. And beware of evil. You see what I'm saying? Because they say they practice evil, man. Bad times. They set up times that's going to cause frenzies and chaos to 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 present a, re, a solution to make themselves look like a, the good guy, man. You know, it's a you know a video called "If I Were the Devil," man. You see what I'm saying? And then one of the greatest tricks. They said the devil ever pulled was making the world believe he didn't exist, man. It says, and be not ashamed when it concerned thy soul. So, yeah, you're not supposed to, like the one, you know, uh, video came out. She said, I'm not. And guess what? She was a so-called black woman, man. 
You see what I'm saying? Just running them off, man. So you, 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 she was being ashamed when it concerned her soul, man. And that's just foolish. So we go ahead and grab that real quick. This is uh, Proverbs 22 and 3. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself. But the simple pass on and are, and are punished. You see what I'm saying? And that's just really what's going to happen, man. You see what I'm saying? It's just... That's just, that's just how it's going. This is how it's going to go down. It's not going to go down any 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 other way. So this is just to be some um um uh, some admonishment. You see what I'm saying? That's what that's all this is, this is to be. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this back out real quick. So I rack nine. And um, 13, <clears throat> keep thee far from the man that has power to kill. You see what I'm saying? And we know that power is going into the scriptures I just went into, but also another, which is right here. That's these dang dogs, man. You know, and Yahweh Shah himself also acknowledged these people. This is Psalms 22 and 20. It says, deliver my soul from the sword, you see, my darling from the power of the dog, you see, and we know that's uh, going into the so-called white man, because why? When you go into Genesis, Genesis 27 and 38, and Esau said unto his father, has thou but one blessing? My father, bless me, even me also, O oh my father. And this is who the Heavenly Father hates. Why? Because there's a certain way that the so-called white man moves, which the Lord doesn't, you know, he don't he doesn't deal with, man. You see what I'm saying? <clears throat> and it goes right into, you know, uh the lesson. So we know these people will have to be Esau. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring that out real quick. This is uh uh, Romans 9 and 11, for the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of, you see, or evil, see that? It's a two-way street. That the purpose of the Heavenly Father, good or, good, or which is good or evil, that the purpose of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, according to election, might stand not of works, but of him that call it, you know, appointed you to something. You see what I'm saying? Chose you for something. It says, it was said unto the unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. The elder shall serve the younger. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. You see? So the Lord, he hates Esau. Now why? Proverbs 14 and 17. He that is soon angry, dealeth foolishly. And a man of wicked devices is hated. You see, and a man of wicked devices is hated. See, so the so-called white man, he has different plans and mischief he comes up with, and it's wickedness. So he's the wicked. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked, man. Wicked devices is what causes a man to be hated. So that's why the Lord hates Esau, man, because he is a, a creation that comes up with wicked devices. He comes up with wicked devices, and Esau, Edom is the so-called white people. You see what I'm saying? And you can see it because that's all they do is come up with wicked ways to do stuff and some slick agenda. You see? So that's it. So Genesis 27 and 38. And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing? My father bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. And by thy sword... You see, shalt thou live, shalt thou live, and shalt serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion, that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. So there it is, man. So Esau is the person that has that sword, all right? So when you go back into Sirach 9 and 13, keep thee far from the man that hath power, to kill and then you go back to what 
Psalms 22 and 20, deliver my soul from the sword, you see, my darling from the power of the dog. So Esau is the one that has that sword and he's called being called a dog right now. And he is one that has that power. He has power to kill. You use a sword to kill. You see what I'm saying? That's his power. You know? So that should take you right back here. All right? So I rack 9 and 13. Keep thee far from the man that hath power to kill. See? And that's the so-called white people. And, and I'm going to get one more to back that up. You know, Yahweh Shah, he even said this. Uh, uh, St. John 19 and 10. Then said Pilate unto him, Speakest thou not? Speakest thou not unto me? Knowest thou not that I have power to crucify thee and have power to release thee? Yahweh Shah answered and said, Thou couldst have no power at all except against me, except it were except it were given thee from above. Therefore he hath delivered he that he that delivered me unto thee hath the greater sin. You see what I'm saying? So nonetheless, that's the that's the Pilate was a Roman man. You see what I'm saying? He's he's from the he's he's from uh, uh, the the nation of Edom. He's Esau Edom, and those are so called white people. As we know, the Jews, the Israelites, are so called black people. You see what I'm saying? You so called black people, including you so called Latinos and Native American Indians. You know, because if you have melanin, you consider black. You look up the word melis, the etymology of melis. It goes back into any dark uh, hue or whatever, something like that. Any hue, any brown hue, pigmentation, black. So we're all so-called black people. All right, it's just they picked the by word. So who, which tribe was going to get what to keep us confused at uh, regarding the notion that we're the same people, we're the, we're the Israelites, we're the big family. All right, and that's pretty much that, man. So you're supposed to keep yourself from the so-called white man. Just keeping it simple. All right. So Sirach 9 and 13, keep thee far from the man that has power to kill. You see, he has a dang sword that he's perfected in such a way. He put it in the form of a syringe. Now, you see what I'm saying? Think about it. When they put, put a person on what? Death row, they, they give them an injection. And what is used? The same utensil that's used for a vaccination, a syringe, man, and it put and it puts them to sleep, man. Put it, put, it kills them. So keep deep far from the man that has power to kill. That's been given to the so-called white man. He executes people. That was his, you know, his creation, man. It says, "So shalt thou not doubt the fear of death, and if thou come unto him, make no fault, lest he take away thy life presently." You see. And that goes into what? Agreeing with thy adversary will now be in a way with thy adversary. Agree with him quickly, man. Lest he take it the way that thy, thy, thy life, man. Matter of fact, let me grab that real quick. Because that goes into, you know, further proving the point. Yahweh Shah said this. This is Matthew 5 and 25. Agreeing with thine adversary quickly while thou, while thou art in the way with him. Lest at any time the adversary... Uh, Salakia, deliver thee to the judge, and the judge deliver thee to the officer, and thou be cast into prison. You see what I'm saying? And that's all spiritual because that's where the, the injections happen at, man. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You know, where more get put on, you know, our people, which the prisons are, are packed with our people, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians, because you're the, you're the uh, Israelites, you know, the, the twin brother of the Edomites, you know, who are the so-called white people, Esau, and which to and, and and whom the you know Esau hates, you know, and go figure. That's where you know the death you know the the death penalty is is executed at, man. You know, more, do a syringe because they don't do the lecture chair anymore. They just do the syringe. You know that new developed form of the sword, man. You see what I'm saying? And now they doing it. They 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 having people volunteer for it. You see what I'm saying? It's not even supposedly in prison. You see, so Iraq nine and thirteen keep thee far from the man that has power to kill. So shalt thou now doubt the fear of death, 
because you're supposed to recognize he truly has a power that, that could kill you. Like, you could kill me with this fluid, man. I'm not dealing with that. It says, and if thou come unto him, make no fault, lest he pre he take thy take away thy life presently. And that's what happened in a lot of traffic stops. Our people don't recognize that the so-called white man is the same one that's been given power to kill. He has power to kill. He has, look what he has on his hip. You see what I'm saying? He can kill you with a taser. He can kill you with the mace. He can kill you with the nightstick. You see what I'm saying? He can kill you with his backup. He can kill you with a headlock. You see what I'm saying? Now, we ain't fearing this, man. We just understand, you know, uh, what he has. It's like you don't get too close to a lion because you know, you know, it's just certain things you just, you, you, you got to have discretion, man. It says, remember that thou goest in the midst, you see, remember that thou goest in the midst of snares, meaning traps, and that thou walkest upon the battlements of the city. You see, and that's you know the battlefield, man. So that's pretty much it. You know these devils, they 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 coming down hard. So I just wanted to bring that out. You know some admonishment, some warning. You know what I'm saying, and some 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 edification, and um, obviously some exhortation as well because it should strengthen you in the fact that you, if you knew this, you know what's going on, and it's sure and you can't never trust thine enemy, man. You see what I'm saying? Which we know this guy's going into, so it's gonna come back and you know and get you. But nonetheless. Uh, this guy is, he's our enemy, you see. So nonetheless, all, until next time, give all honor, all honor, praise, and glory to Heavenly Father. Y'all bless me. Y'all shout out to next time. Shalom.